Our topic for today is about the highest public position, being President of the Republic of the Philippines. Article 7, Section 1 of the 1987 Constitution vests executive power on the President of the Philippines. The President is the head of state and head of government, and functions as the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. As Chief Executive, the President exercises control over all the executive departments, bureaus, and offices. The President of the Philippines is elected by direct vote by the people for a term of six years. He or she may only serve for one term, and is ineligible for re-election. The term of the President of the Philippines starts at noon of the 30th day of June after the election. According to the 1987 Constitution, an individual may become president provided he or she meets the following criteria. The power of the president are as follows. The power over the executive branch. The president of the Philippines has the mandate of control over all the executive departments, bureaus, and offices. This includes restructuring, reconfiguring, and appointments of their respective officials. The Administrative Code also provides for the President to be responsible for the above-mentioned office's strict implementation of laws. Ordinance Power The President of the Philippines has the power to give executive issuances, which are means to streamline the policy and programs of an administration. There are six issuances that the President may issue. They are the following as defined in the Administrative Code of 1987. Executive Orders Administrative Orders Proclamations Memorandum Orders Memorandum Circulars General or Special Orders Power over Aliens The President of the Philippines has certain powers over non-Filipinos in the Philippines. The powers he may exercise over foreigners in the country are as follows. Powers of Eminent Domain, Esquite land reservation and recovery of ill-gotten wealth. The President of the Philippines has the authority to exercise the power of eminent domain. The power of eminent domains means the state has the power to seize or authorize the seizure of private property for public use with just compensation. There are two constitutional provisions, however, that limit the exercise of such power, Article 3. Section 9 1 of the Constitution provides that no person shall be deprived of his or her life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Furthermore, Article 3, Section 9 2 provides that private property shall not be taken for public use without just compensation. Power of Appointment The President may appoint officials of the Philippine government as provided by the Constitution and laws of the Philippines. Some of these appointments, however, may need the approval of the Committee on Appointments, a committee composed of members from the House of Representatives and the Senate of the Philippines, power of general supervision over local governments. The President of the Philippines, as Chief Executive, has the mandate to supervise local governments in the Philippines, despite their autonomous status as provided by Republic Act No. 7160 otherwise known as the Local Government Code of 1991. Aside from the aforementioned powers of the President of the Philippines, he can also exercise powers enumerated in the Constitution, and powers given to him by law. The Constitution provides for a line of succession in the event that the elected President of the Philippines is not able to discharge the duties of his office due to death, disability, or resignation. The following is the line of succession. Contrary to popular belief, the Constitution doesn't include the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court in the President's line of succession. The Congress of the Philippines is mandated an act of law calling for a special election three days after the vacancy in the office of the President and Vice President. The special election should occur 40 days after the enactment of the law but not later than 60 days after the enactment of the law. There have been 16 presidents of the Philippines from the establishment of the office on January 23, 1899, in the Malolos Republic. President Emilio Aguinaldo is the inaugural holder of the office and held the position until March 23, 1901, 
when he was captured by the Americans during the Philippine-American War. The office of the President of the Philippines was abolished after the capture of Aguinaldo, and ceased to exist until the inauguration of the Philippine Commonwealth in 1935. After the first national elections were held on September 16, 1935, Manuel L. Quezon was elected as the second president of the Philippines and the first president of the Philippine Commonwealth. Originally elected to a six-year term, President Quezon would stay in office until 1944, because the 1935 constitution was amended in 1940 to allow re-election, but shortened the term of the president to four years. Quezon was elected again in 1941, however, due to constitutional limitations, he would have not served the full four years, his term started on November 15, 1935, and thus would end on November 15, 1943. In 1943, however, President Quezon had to take an emergency oath of office, extending his term, because of the outbreak of World War II. When World War II forced the Philippine Commonwealth into exile, a different government would be installed in the Philippines, which would later to be known as the Second Republic of the Philippines. Jose P. Laurel would lead this government as the third president of the Philippines and the only president of the Second Republic. Laurel stayed in office from 1943 to 1944 when the Second Republic was abolished. At this point, the President of the Second Republic would overlap with the President of the Commonwealth. On September 17, 1945, however, the laws of the Second Republic were declared null and void by the Supreme. The Philippine Commonwealth would be re-established in Philippine soil in 1945 with President Sergio Osmeña as the second President of the Commonwealth and the fourth President of the Philippines. Osmeña took his oath of office in the United States after the demise of President Quezon. Osmeña would run in the first post-war presidential elections held in 1946, but lose to Senate President Manuel Roxas. President Roxas was elected in 1946 as the third president of the Philippine Commonwealth, first president of the Independent Republic of the Philippines, and the fifth president of the Philippines. He would usher in the end of the Philippine Commonwealth on July 4, 1946, and the birth of the Third Republic. Roxas would be followed by President Salpatio Quirino, Ramon Magsase, Carlos P. Garcia, and Diosdado Macape Gal as the second, third, fourth, and fifth president of the Third Republic and the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth president of the Philippines, respectively. President Ferdinand D. Marcos became the last president of the Third Republic when he declared martial law in 1972, while the 1973 constitution suspended the 1935 constitution, he only formally proclaims a new republic, the Fourth, in 1981. Marcos became the first president of the Fourth Republic and the tenth president of the Philippines overall. Marcos stayed in office for 20 years, the longest-serving president of the Philippines. In 1986, the EDSA revolution successfully installed Corazon C. Aquino as the new president of the Philippines, the 11th in the country's history. President Aquino served as the second and last president of the Fourth Republic at the beginning of her term. A transitional, freedom constitution was put into effect in the same year. When the 1987 constitution was put into full force and effect, the Fourth Republic was ended and the Fifth Republic inaugurated. Thus, President Aquino became the first president of the Fifth Republic. She would be followed by Presidents Fidel V. Ramos, Joseph Ejercito Estrada, Gloria Macape Galarroyo, and Benigno S. Aquino III as the second, third, fourth, and fifth president of the Fifth Republic and twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth and fifteenth president of the Philippines, respectively. The current president, Rodrigo Roel Duterte is the sixth president of the Fifth Republic and the sixteenth president of the Philippines. We will do a separate video covering more about the life and accomplishments of each president. Thank you for watching and see you again on our next episode.